an intriguing scent that leads a dog deep into the woods, or the tantalizing freedom an open gate presents, is sometimes all it takes for Fido to become separated from familiar surroundings. On Vancouver Island, a dog goes missing nearly every week. We help reunite lost dogs with their owners. Finding lost and escaped dogs on Vancouver Island got its start in the capital city in January 2013. Jill Oakley is the founder of FLED. She's based out of Victoria. She's been finding lost and escaped dogs for over 30 years. Um, and she wanted to put together a network of volunteers and I was in. I have been rescuing dogs for 27 years. Um, obviously, I love them. I have a soft spot for them. And if my dogs went missing, I have no idea what I would do. And having a bunch of people to back you up and help you out I'm, is invaluable. FLED uses social media and technology to gather resources quickly and get the word out about missing or found dogs to help facilitate reuniting pooches with their families. If your dog goes missing or you found a dog, you go to our website, uh, click on the link. There's a link to report a lost dog and to report a found dog. You click on that, you fill in the form, send us a clear photograph of the dog. We post it on our website um, or on our Facebook page and people share from there. We also send out alerts to all our volunteers. FLED is entirely volunteer and donation driven. The thing that sets us apart from other social media groups is the fact that we do have a network of volunteers. We have places for found dogs to stay for the night. We have equipment that we've been able to purchase through donations, such as traps and trail cams, um, so we can set up feeding stations and live trap a dog if need be. The Central Island chapter is essentially still in its formative stage compared to Victoria. We desperately need volunteers up island. Anybody can volunteer and we have a place for everyone in our organization. Uh, there's searchers and there's spotters. There's people who are confined to their homes and their computers and they're invaluable to us as well um, with regards to coordinating searches and, uh, and just sharing the posts on Facebook. We need to get people out there putting that poster up, going door to door, asking people to check their properties, fence lines, garages, near their dryer vents, everywhere, all the outbuildings because these are all places that lost dogs can hide. Some pets are found within minutes of disappearing. Others can take weeks or months to be located. A dog goes into survival mode really quickly when it goes missing, and which is when the trapping comes into effect. So we have a trap and we have a feeding station. We keep the feeding station or the trap closed first. We set up the feeding station. Traps closed, feeding stations open. We have the trail cam. Uh, directed at the, the door of the feeding station. So if our dog that's been sighted a couple of times, hopefully at this point, comes to the feeding station, we can confirm that it's the dog. Then we shut the feeding station, take it away, and set our trap. There are many happy endings. FLED has live trapped nine dogs in the first year, and they have helped reunite over 200 dogs with their families. In Arrington, I'm Annette Lucas.